Hi, my friends. God bless you. Your enemies will be clothed in shame and the tent of the wicked will be no more in Jesus' mighty name. Are you afflicted in your body in the mighty name of Jesus? Have you been unwell? Have you been weak in your body? I was decreeing and making some decrees from Job 8.22 and I was quickened by the Spirit of God even to decree and declare uh, for those who have been uh, afflicted by sickness and disease in Jesus' mighty name, I want to let you know that according to the word of God, which is a more sure word of prophecy and the finished work of Christ at Calvary, God uh, sent his son Jesus to die for us and he paid the price. Jesus Christ paid uh, the price for our healing. So we receive our healing and we decree, declare total and complete healing over our body so you have to agree with god's word in the name of jesus and begin to speak the law of life in christ jesus our sickness and diseases um, want uh, to bring the law of sin and death in your body but you have now to uh, break those agreements and agree with the law of life in Christ Jesus with the finished work of Christ at Calvary in Jesus a mighty name and repent of any sin any agreement with sickness and disease in your own life in your bloodline, in your family, break those agreements, those covenants, those associations in the mighty name of Jesus and begin to agree with God's word because healing is the children's prayer. It is actually a God's uh, good pleasure to give us his kingdom and indeed he has given us his kingdom. He has given us a healing, healing is something that God has really given us in our covenant with him in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a done deal. Glory be to Jesus. For us it to execute that um, promise in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus already paid the price for us. Jesus was bruised for our iniquity. Any iniquity that is bruising your body uh, because of uh, sin, even in your bloodline, Jesus Christ has already dealt with it. Is it a transgression? Jesus uh, was, um, he was, um, Jesus was bruised for our iniquity, wounded for our transgression. So transgression is not supposed to wound our body. We are not supposed to be afflicted in our body in the mighty name of Jesus and if this is happening to you you need to rise up in the mighty name of Jesus and partake of the provision of God for your life in the mighty name of Jesus not to say the enemy does not afflict uh, people with sickness and disease but what you're supposed to actually do is to execute the finished work, is to be in agreement, is to fight and, and, and contend for your complete healing, even to the point of walking in divine health. Uh, glory be to Jesus. So Jesus uh, was bruised for our iniquity, wounded for our transgression, the chastisement of our peace. Whatever was supposed to chastise us, Jesus received the judgment on our behalf. And if Jesus was judged, we don't need to be judged in sickness, in disease, in affliction, in oppression. God's word says, is anyone among you sick? Call the elders, lay hands on them and, and, and speak to them and, and decree healing. So I speak to somebody according to the finished work of Christ at Calvary, the complete work of salvation in the name of Jesus. And Jesus are right now, he's seated at the right hand of the Father and we are also joint heirs with him. He forever liveth to make intercession. So we are co-heirs with Jesus and we are partnering with Jesus and the finished work of Christ at Calvary in the earth realm. And so I decree, declare to you, rise up from your sick bed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in your body in the mighty name of Jesus, in the power and authority that Christ has given us as believers, as sons of the kingdom of God. We decree, declare in agreement with God's word, with the back king of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, uh, in the power of the blood of Jesus. I speak healing to your body in the name of Jesus. Arise from your sick bed in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, visit that individual in the name of Jesus and touch them in the name of Jesus, Son of the living God. If you have uh, anointing oil nearby, just pick it and just uh, uh, pray in agreement and touch wherever it is. 
uh, that you are unwell and I begin to speak in the name of Jesus. Uh, you just need to apply it by faith. I have shared videos on the anointing oil. So this is just olive oil and um, just bless it and thank God uh, for his anointing. It's a physical representation of the Holy Spirit and it's actually also to activate our faith. So just lay your hands uh, on that area and just a uh, decree and be in agreement with me as I pray in Jesus' uh, mighty name. And if you're not sure uh, where you're unwell, just touch your belly in Jesus' uh, mighty name. Touch your belly and uh, we are going to be praying by faith because the prayer of faith is able to heal in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, hallelujah. My Father, I thank you. I give you glory uh, for that sister, that brother, that individual, that child of God, wherever they they are in the name of Jesus. We thank you, my Father and my God, for the finished work of Christ at Calvary. We are asking you, my Father, that the holy angels that watch over the word of healing to minister to them as they activate and as they join uh, their faith uh, with the word of God and even with my faith, according to your word. Jesus, you were bruised for our iniquity, wounded for our transgression. The chastisement of our peace was upon you, and by your stripes we were healed. So we are healed in the name of Jesus. We speak healing to my sister. We speak healing to my brother. We speak healing upon that child in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I just felt a quickening uh, in my belly and I know that our God is touching somebody in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, the, G, the GI track, God is healing it in the name of Jesus, uh, hallelujah, so God is touching somebody's body in the mighty name of Jesus, receive healing in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, uh, hallelujah, we cover you with the blood of Jesus and we command the pain now out of your body in the name of Jesus, let there be total and complete healing in your body. In Jesus' a mighty name. Father God, we also pray, restore them to health. We ask for your dunamis power right now to empower them, to quicken their mortal body. In Jesus' a mighty name, we seal our prayers with the blood of Jesus and we say thank you, thank you. Just begin to thank the Lord. It is done in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. I felt such a stirring as I was uh, making decrees on Job 8, uh, 22. And I had the Spirit of God say, approach the tent of the wicked that has um." have been uh, pegged in people's life, the tent of sickness and disease in the mighty name of Jesus. So keep decreeing the word of God. Keep speaking the word of God. It is a done deal. It is a complete work in the mighty name of Jesus and the angels of God are at work and the symptoms will disappear. And for some, there are those, the symptoms are actually uh, disappearing in the name of Jesus. So believe you receive. Thank God for it. Stand on God's word in the mighty name of Jesus, the symptoms will line up. Your body will line up. But that spirit of infirmity, that spirit of sickness and disease is bound and cast out. That tent of sickness and disease has been uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus uh, because it is not the planting of God. It is not your glorious destiny to be afflicted in your body with sickness and disease in the mighty name of Jesus. We with infirmities in the mighty name of Jesus, our son of the living God. Glory be to Jesus. So uh, healing is your portion in Jesus' name. And we build and plant total healing, restoration of God's uh, healing grace upon your life. Your body will function the way it was supposed to function in Jesus' uh, mighty name. We speak wholeness 
health and healing upon that body right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Your systems must line up in the name of Jesus. So just know this, uh, that your enemy of sickness and disease has been clothed in shame in Jesus' a mighty name and the tent of sickness and disease because sickness and disease is a form of wickedness in the name of Jesus. It's there to devour uh, your body, your time, your finances. So that is why God is uprooting that tent. And uh, now he's establishing righteousness. He's establishing healing in your body, wholeness in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, God uh, bless you. I want you to comment below and uh, let me know um, how you believe in God uh, in whatever area. And uh, if uh, God has ministered to you, please let me know in the comments below so that we can uh, give God all the glory and all the honor in Jesus' uh, mighty name. God uh, bless you. I want to see you in the comments. I normally interact with uh, my uh, subscribers and my viewers after I post the video, so let us interact uh, in the comments below and it will be such a blessing. Remember to subscribe, like and share and enjoy the rest of your day in divine health, peace and prosperity and God's, God's goodness and God's mercy. God bless you. Watch my next video and it will be a blessing.